All right, y'all. It's me, Kelani, with another video you can like and share. I'm here with my family. I got my sister. I got her kids, the twins, Destiny and Michi, and my sons, Eric and Chiron, better known as Eric Tron and Real Iron Kai. And what's up, YouTube? It's Andrew. That's this Iron Kai. And I just want to support my channel. Make sure you subscribe to me. I got lots of good gaming videos. If any of you gaming, no, um, any of you gamers are out there. All right. You heard from Iron Kai. It's a good destiny. Destiny, it's my twin. Yay! That's my niece. She's a twin, and her brother is Michi, and they're more twins because they look just alike. And my sister Kim is my twin, and she's over here. She's don't really feel like getting on camera right now, but she's so beautiful. You see her on my Facebook. And my son Eric Tran. Eric Tran, you want to shout out? Yo, what's up, YouTube world? I animated my review. I'm Eric Tron here, and I'm just sitting here watching Netflix. Yeah, That's him. That. He don't want to get a camera either. Okay, everybody camera shot today. But well, you know this video so today to is going to be about... What exactly. should it be about, guys? Let's make something up. What do you guys want to talk about about relationships? Like, what's the... You know what? Let's go off and let's not talk about relationships with, like, people that you want to be in love with. Let's talk about relationships with, like, friends family like your your folks like you know um that's very important like relationships go further than just you know who you love or who you want to be with um in fact the person that you want to be with you should really be friends with them and get to know them on a personal level before you are in a relationship anyways so you want to kind of build that relationship and so um i think when you are single you need to surround yourself with good people family members and friends and everything so um do that you know um that's a good time to get to know your family and friends because when you get in a relationship it's kind of hard to break away from the ball and chain so um cherish that time that you can be with them and build and develop yourself and um you know for all those that are in love today congratulations for all those that just got their heart broke it will get better. You will find somebody else. It will get better. And, um, you know, it all, I always say it takes about, it depends on how long you've been in a relationship. If you've been in a relationship with someone for more than three months, it takes about a month to three months to really get over them all the way. So, you know, just take that time and do something for you. You know, go shopping, whatever. Go work out, have some fun, go see a movie, go to a poetry club, do something fun. But I cherish my family. I don't know what I would do without my sister, my kids, and my niece and nephew, my brother, my dad, um, all my family, the Buckleys, the Mosleys. I love them all. And um, so I just want to say, you know, instead of worrying today about are you in a relationship or you're not in a relationship and they just turn the TV up real loud, um... You know, try to reach out to your family and friends and spend some time with them and um, just work on being happy with your closest people that really love you for you. You know, um, family, one thing family can do better than any mate or anything is that they can love you through all kind of mess. And sometimes we take advantage of that because we like we know that our family is going to forgive us or whatever. So we will hurt like the people that are closest to us. Even like um, our mates, we will hurt our mates because they're like family too. But, um, you know, because we know that they'll forgive us sometimes. But, um, you know, I think good relationships are the kind that get through that type of stuff, you know. Um, so there's small things you can go through, but like when you get married, you can go through much worse stuff, you know. Um, so, if you can't handle the small stuff, then you're not really ready to, to get married and all the all those things you got to be able to handle the small hurdles and things like that before you can handle the big stuff because when you get married it's big stuff <laughs> you know losing houses deaths in the family um infidelity there's um you know you have to keep it together while taking care of the kids and the kids are getting all the attention you know you have to make sure that you make um time for your relationship and those that are like busy like myself and everything you have to make time for other people and sometimes they don't understand sometimes i don't understand when i'm with someone busy you know i'm like man dang you know i didn't get a text or whatever but um you know you got to learn to deal with that if you want to be with someone that you know has something going on in their life things like that so 
then the last thing I want to talk about, which I talked about this before, um, which I think was a really good topic, is that relationships evolve. You know, the beginning of a relationship is going to be a little more rocky than it will be a year from that time. Because in the beginning of a relationship, you know, whether you're talking, whatever, you're not really in a relationship, you're kind of talking. It's like, you know, you're talking to different people trying to see, you know, do you really want to be with this person or whatnot. And then, so it's kind of rocky because you're talking to other people, right? you know and people get jealous or whatever but when you actually make that commitment to be with that person the dy dynamic should change and then those other people fall off and it's you and that person you know so you have to try to forget all the stuff that happened when you were just talking because each one of you is talking to different people and stuff like that so you got to try to move past it and you know communicate and talk like where are we at in our relationship you know, I we were type about thing. Welcome, I thought we were talking about other relationships. Okay, well, we talk about other You're relationships. Y'all yeah, always talk about relationships, though. So, you had to throw something coach. in. Yes. Yes, I'm a relationship coach. And I helped somebody today, which was really nice. Somebody called me and I helped them on a job issue. And I felt so good because they were like, thank you. They were like, you really helped me. They were having problem with the, problems with a coworker and stuff. And I just feel so yes. good, you know. I talk about it's a giving season. It's you a giving bless somebody. somebody. That's true. My sister Kimmy says it's the giving season, so you should bless somebody. You see them needing a coat? Provide yeah, kids one. need coats. Yeah, coats for kids. I think uh, Feel Good and um, Nakia are raising money for um, Nurses Rock for the stock drive. They're having like a stock drive, so check them out on Facebook. Nakia Davis and Feel Good, P H I L L G O O D, I believe it is. And um, the Kia Davis on Facebook. Um, so, and shout out to my friend Fabio, Fabio So, that he's a great speaker too. So, um, hopefully, we'll be able to do some videos together. He's a great person and very easy on the eyes, I might add. Very sweet person. So, um, also, um, shout out to all my viewers, Lonnie's loved ones, everybody that watches me on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, shout out to all of you. I love you all with all my heart. All my heart. All right. Go state. Bye.